Picture this. A peaceful morning on the farm, the sun just peeking over the horizon, and the distant clucking of chickens in the yard. It's an idyllic scene, isn't it? One that speaks volumes about the simple joys of country life. In the hustle and bustle of modern living, it's easy to lose sight of the simple pleasures. The pleasures that come from living close to the earth, from being in tune with nature's rhythms. But in the country, these pleasures are part of everyday life. They're in the dew-kissed grass under your feet, in the cool, crisp morning air, in the fresh produce from your own backyard. They're in the clucking of chickens, a sound that's as much a part of the country soundscape as the rustling of leaves or the chirping of birds. Speaking of chickens, they're not just part of the background noise, they're an integral part of country life. They're living, breathing, clucking reminders of the cycle of life. They provide eggs, yes, but they also contribute to the farm's ecosystem in myriad ways, from pest control to soil enrichment. And let's not forget the simple joy of watching them go about their daily routines, a joy that's both soothing and entertaining. But it's not just about the joy of raising chickens. It's also about the satisfaction of cooking with their eggs. There's something deeply fulfilling about cracking open an egg that you've collected yourself, about seeing the rich, golden yolk, about knowing that you're about to create something delicious with it. It's about the connection between the food you eat and the land it comes from, a connection that's often missing in our supermarket-driven world. The charm of country life lies in its simplicity. Growing your own food, like raising chickens, brings a unique sense of fulfillment. Let's dive into this journey, shall we? Raising chickens is not just for farmers. Anyone with a bit of space and time can do it. And it's simpler than you might think. First off, let's talk about choosing the right breed. Chickens come in a variety of breeds, each with its own set of characteristics. Some are great layers, others have a friendly temperament, and some are just downright beautiful. It's essential to pick a breed that matches your needs and your environment. If you're after eggs, consider a breed known for its laying prowess like the white leghorn, if you're looking for a friendly companion, the buff Orpington might be your bird. Once you've chosen your breed, the next step is setting up the coop. Chickens need a safe, comfortable place to roost. Your coop should be sturdy, well-ventilated and predator-proof. It should have nesting boxes for the hens to lay their eggs and perches for them to sleep on. Remember to provide plenty of space. Each chicken needs about 2 to 3 square feet inside the coop, and about 10 square feet in the run. Now let's get to feeding. Chickens eat a lot, and they eat a variety of foods. A balanced diet is key to their health and productivity. You can feed them a mix of grains, vegetables, and kitchen scraps, but make sure they get enough protein. Commercially available chicken feed is a good option as it's nutritionally balanced. Healthcare is another crucial aspect of raising chickens. Regular checkups are necessary to ensure your flock is healthy. Look out for signs of illness like changes in behavior, decreased appetite, or a drop in egg production. If you notice anything unusual, it's best to consult a vet. In the end, raising chickens is not just about the delicious eggs they provide. It's about caring for these delightful creatures and ensuring they live a happy and healthy life. Remember, a happy chicken is a healthy chicken, and a healthy chicken lays delicious eggs. Now the moment you've been waiting for, harvesting those golden orbs of nutrition, the eggs. You see, the art of harvesting eggs is as much about timing as it is about technique. Each hen has her own rhythm, laying one egg approximately every 24 to 27 hours. The best time to collect these treasures is in the morning, right after they've been laid. But how do you know when the eggs are ready to be harvested? Well, a hen usually sings a special song, a sort of cluck cluck buck 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 once she's done her duty. Now on to the collection. Approach the nesting boxes with care and respect. Remember, these are the hen's private quarters. Using both hands, gently lift the hen if she's still there. Reach under her and feel for the smooth, slightly warm shell of a freshly laid egg. Don't worry if the hen makes some noise. It's just her way of saying, Hey, that's my egg you're taking. Once you've collected the eggs, it's time to store them. A common misconception is that eggs need to be refrigerated immediately. But actually, eggs have a natural protective coating called the bloom that keeps them fresh. So, instead of washing them right away and removing the bloom, just wipe off any dirt with a dry cloth and store them in a cool, dry place. What about eggs with a little bit of blood or feathers on them? No need to panic. This is perfectly normal and doesn't affect the egg's quality. Simply clean it off before you're ready to use it. And what if you find a tiny, soft-shelled egg? 
This is known as a wind egg, and it's a sign that your hen is just starting to lay. It's not ideal for eating, but it's a great sign that your flock is thriving. And there you have it, your first batch of farm fresh eggs, ready for the kitchen. The freshness of farm raised eggs is unparalleled. Now let's turn them into a simple yet delicious dish. Imagine the morning sun warming your face as you gather the freshest eggs from your own coop. The cool shell in your hand is a testament to the hard work and dedication that goes into raising your own chickens. Now let's take these golden treasures from coop to kitchen. We'll start by cracking open these beautiful eggs, revealing the vibrant yolks inside. The color, you'll notice, is far richer than store-bought eggs, a sure sign of their freshness and quality. Next, we'll whisk them into a gentle froth, adding a pinch of salt and pepper for a touch of flavor. The simplicity of this dish allows the natural, delicious taste of the eggs to shine through. As we pour the mixture into a warm buttered pan, the aroma fills the kitchen, a delightful promise of the meal to come. Once the eggs have set to a perfect creamy consistency, we'll slide them onto a plate. The finishing touch, a sprinkle of fresh herbs from your garden. The combination of fresh eggs and herbs creates a symphony of flavors that truly embodies the spirit of country living. Bon appétit! Nothing compares to the taste of a meal made with your own produce. Raising chickens, harvesting eggs and cooking with them is a beautiful cycle that connects us back to nature. This journey, from the chirping of the first hatchling to the sizzle of a freshly laid egg in the pan, is a testament to the circle of life. It's an experience that's as old as civilization itself, yet it never ceases to captivate us. This lifestyle where we actively participate in the cycle of life is not just about producing food, it's about sustainability, embracing a way of living that is in harmony with our environment. Each chicken we raise, each egg we harvest, reduces our dependence on industrial farming, helping us tread lightly on our planet. But this journey is not just about the planet, it's also about us. It's about our health. Chickens raised in a natural environment, free from artificial feeds and antibiotics, produce healthier, tastier eggs. And there's no denying the fulfillment derived from cooking with eggs that you've harvested yourself. More than that, it's about the joy, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment. Each omelette, each souffle, each cake is not just a dish, it's a story. A story of a life nurtured, a harvest reaped, a meal cooked. In this modern world where we're often disconnected from our food sources, this cycle brings us back to our roots. Embrace the simple joys of country life, one chicken at a time.